To add a drag and drop question to your Eduphoria Aware test, you'll click your plus sign and then you'll click Add Item. From the question type dropdown, you will select Interactive Response and then you can scroll down and select drag and drop. From here, I can go ahead and set my standards and my secondary standards. Once I have my standards set, I will scroll down to my rich content editor where I will construct my question. At the top, I would type any directions that my students may need to answer the question. And once I have my directions typed in there, I can begin creating my interactive drop down question. So I will go ahead and highlight the information that's already there and delete it so I can put my own stimulus here. And as you can see from my stimulus, I have created a table here and I'm going to have my students sort the type of number each one of these numbers falls in. So for our first one, 2 pi, I'm going to go ahead and type in the correct answer that I want my students to actually drop into the table. So the number 2 pi is actually an irrational number. So I would type irrational number here. The square root of 144 is a counting number. And 4 and 2 fifths is a rational number. So now that I have my correct answers in here, I need my actual answer bank or my drag and drop selections. So I would highlight my first answer and then I would click add placeholder response. And notice now irrational number is no longer in my table. It's actually in my answer bank here at the top. And I would do the same thing for all numbers in my table. I would highlight and then select add placeholder response to make it a drag and drop question for my students. And then again, the last one, rational number, highlight just the text and click add placeholder. And once all my placeholders are set, I will go ahead and click continue. And here is where I will click on the correct answers to make sure all my correct answers are there. So if I scroll down, I can select on an answer choice and I can see its correct answer or its selected target, but I can also change the settings for that answer choice. So if I accidentally misspelled it, I can adjust it here and I can click on all my answer choices and see them here out to the side. I can also shuffle my answer choices. So if I want them in a different order for students, I can click shuffle answer choices. But I can also add in like possible answers that are distractors for students. So if I add in another answer, I can see I have this fourth answer choice that I can then select here and type in, let's say, integers. I know integers is not a correct answer, but it would be almost a distractor there for my students. And you can add as many possible outcomes as you would like to your question. If you accidentally add one you don't want, all you have to do is select that answer choice, then click delete answer, and that answer choice will disappear. So once you have all your correct answers set, I can make sure, okay, this answer goes to irrational. That's correct. The square root of 144 should go to counting, and it does because it says it right here. And then the last one, four and two fifths, that should go to our rational numbers. And I can click here at that selected target and see that there. Then I will just hit create. And that interactive question has now been added to my test.